Since the early 2000s, eSports has seen rapid growth in both participation and viewership, especially among college students. Tonight, Texas A&M is one step closer to transforming the former Macy's at Post Oak Mall into a new eSports campus. This is a big deal. Donnie Cargo was the only reporter there today as potential vendors toured the space. Level one in a brand new game started Thursday at Post Oak Mall. Texas A&M University brought in bidders to level up the former Macy's building into a massive eSports arena. Tim McLaughlin, the interim dean for the School of Performance, Visualization and Fine Arts, says the space would not only accommodate tournaments, broadcasting in classrooms, but also mark a significant step forward for the community and the university. So fully realized we would have a beautiful facility, state of the art, setting the top of what's expected at the collegiate level and something that contributes to the community. Aaron Thabo, director of games and esports for Texas A&M, says besides fun and games, they're educating the next generation of leaders across several career fields. From a range of photojournalism to ethnographic studies and anthropology and technical art and uh, software development, computer science, th really the opportunities are limitless. Rick Allen is a teacher at Texarkana High School and commissioner with the Texas Scholastic Esports Federation. He says he's excited about the doors this will open for students across the state. Texas A&M, Macy's X building, 2,000 students going to house it, 400 computers. Um, that's the step in the right direction. Texas A&M is doing some amazing stuff and they're bringing some uh, legitimacy to the esports realm and I'm happy to see it. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Texas A&M hopes to have a vendor selected by April. The